Hello, Hidden Gems. I'm about to tell all of you everything happening in uh, what the bailiff just called an action packed morning. Is I just am waiting to see that at least one person is here before I begin because I know that there's a bit of a delay when I go live. When I see one thumbs up, then I know I'm live. Let me check the, the chat. It still doesn't say anybody's here. Hello, hello. Is anybody here? Okay, well, I'm going to assume that I'm live because it says that I've been live for one whole minute and I've never had to wait this long to see anyone. Okay, I see one person. Okay, am I live? Hello, hello. We're gonna have to figure out this delay. I'm gonna go check and see um, how long it takes typically for uh, me to go to uh, go live. It seems to be a delay. So I see that there is a person here and a thumbs up. So I just took off from the courtroom. Most people stayed in there, by the way. Uh, they're waiting for Judge Voice to get back on the bench. But honestly, even the bailiff said, well, this was a really action-packed morning. So if anybody wants to leave now, you can head out. And I took off. I, you know, I don't know if I would call it action pack. I guess for the bailiffs it was. They were getting their steps in, going back and forth, doing this peremptory strikes on the on the jurors and having all 57 jurors in there. So let me just lay out what's going on. The jury has been chosen. The jury's been chosen. There were 50 plus jurors in there today, potential jurors, and uh, and 18 remain. Uh, that had been called in the, jur the jury. And it was interesting. Chad Daybell was watching intently. I was watching intently. The jurors all seemed to have reactions as to whether or not their names were, were chosen. I was sitting next to Tom Evans today, who was a juror in the Lori Vallow Daybell case. And I'm so curious to know what he felt in this moment being picked. He's still in the courtroom. Uh, like I said, I, I kind of looked at the bailiff um, and I said, well, I think I do want to go and report on this. He's like, if anybody wants to report, I just assume some people might want to. This was really big news. And I, and I was like, yeah, but, uh, and, but, and judge Boyce is back with the jurors. He went back. And so the bailiff said, I don't know when he's going to be back on the bench. Um, I don't know. There might be a couple of motions Wednesday, Wednesday is opening statements. Um, and again, and so they're back. The jurors are back getting instructions on transportation, on, on rules of the court, what they what they can't say to, to those. So, so they're back and they're getting instructions right now to prepare for opening statements on Wednesday. I'm here to tell you, I've never seen this in court before. This is something that's usually done so private uh, or, or off, you know, or on record, but very private because of the, the potential jurors privacy. But let me just tell you, what went down there and I was live tweeting and I was on our, our YouTube chat um, explaining, but I walk in and they positioned the entire courtroom so that Chad Daybell is facing the gallery with prior, as well as the prosecution. And I, I, I think the reason they did so is because they had all the potential jurors in the gallery and the jurors are supposed to be able to look at Chad and vice versa. So. So I walk in, So and also typically I sit on the right side of the gallery. Today it was the left side. They moved it, and they had on the the right side of the gallery all the potential jurors. And that this is also why it wasn't live streamed today, because they have to keep the privacy of the potential jurors. And when you've got 50 plus, they're just, it's a small courtroom. There's just no way to keep this private, right? So they, um, they, they were on this side, and... But Chad was on the left side. So when I walked in, I was one of the first ones to walk in. He was just right there looking at us and I sat right in front of him. And yes, there was a, there was a good amount of eye contact. I mean, I don't think there was any way to avoid it. I don't think it was nefarious eye contact or like, oh, I mean, if I wanted to look at him, we were looking right at each other. And I have to say, never have I been, I was not ever this sort of close with Lori Vallow throughout her entire trial. It was a really kind of wild moment for me personally um to be there so so close and looking at chad and having him look at me and and he was looking at everyone and he was looking at the 
the jurors, the potential jurors, it was interesting. Somebody wrote on X, uh, the previously known as Twitter, social media, that uh, isn't it interesting that these people being chosen, you know, Chad must be thinking these people will be in charge of whether or not he is sentenced to live or die. And I said, you know, that is pretty wild. That must be pretty pretty chilling for Chad Daybell. And then I realized, actually, I don't know what he's thinking. And I don't know if I'll ever know what Chad Daybell's thinking. And I'll probably wonder my entire life, whatever is going through his mind, I don't know. But that fact is an interesting fact that that it was this, this very quiet courtroom too. There, there were these peremptory strikes going on where the, the papers are being presented, sheets being presented to the uh, prosecution's table and the defense table and they were filling things out and marking things and giving them back to the bailiffs who then delivered them to the judge and that was going on repeat and you could hear a pin drop in the courtroom i mean you could hear typing going on there was typing on a computer i, I think that was nate eaton and then there was um papers being shuffled and that was really all you could hear um as we just waited in silence but it did feel very action-packed it was it was very heavy if you think about what Chad Daybell's thinking and he's looking at everyone and you look over at these 50 plus potential jurors. One, I used to say 57, one didn't show up, another was excused, so now I just say 50 plus. You look over at them and wonder what they're thinking. Like, am I about to be on this internationally known, you know, murder trial or whatever it is that they know about it. They know it could be 10 weeks of their life, the next 10 weeks. And I mean, this is their future coming up. Um, I can't imagine as as they started calling out the jurors numbers who were being excused i started i was watching as much as i could their reactions and they would stand up when their number was called but i was also trying to write down every number so that i had it which i you know tweeted of every number that was excused but as i watched them there were some definitely different reactions going on as well like some jurors seemed super stressed that at the end when they were remaining and they stood up like so first off everyone was standing up when they were excused so as judge Boyce called out the numbers of the jurors being dismissed they would stand up and of course the majority of them stood up and then after that concluded and you could see their faces going like okay like i'm no longer a juror and some felt looked really relieved there was one woman i felt she kind of looked a little disappointed that she wasn't a juror um, and I liked her. I liked her. So I was a little disappointed in myself. But uh, then they sat down and then the remaining jurors stood up. To, and so then we, we got to look at all of them and see who was remaining, which was a really interesting moment to kind of say. It's like, you know, it's like um, almost like a Hunger Games, but without the Hunger Games. But, you know, you're like, are you left? You know, and here you are. These are the people remaining out of this massive pool of people that we started with a week ago. And... They all looked around at each other too. And some, one of the guys looked really stressed. Another woman seemed to have like a smirk, like, wow, I'm going to be a juror. And she was okay. Thank you, Perry, so much. Um, like I said, I really want to ask Tom Evans's thoughts about this, what was going through his mind, because it is, it is a very heavy moment being in there. There was one juror that was a little concerned. So when Judge Boyce asked, hey, jurors, stand up, stand up. Um, the ones that are remaining, there was one gentleman, it was, it was almost like he said, you know, I, I, my number wasn't called, but 523 was called. That's not the exact number, but it was something like that. 523 was called and I'm 527. You know, it was like one digit off. And so are you sure that I'm a juror? And Judge Boyce confirmed, indeed, you are still here. You know, you, yes, you are a juror. So there was even that like bit of like uncertainty with some of the jurors chosen it, you know and then i looked at chad and he was looking at all of them and like i said i couldn't get that thought out of my mind that 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 uh hidden gem tweeted where she said you know think about it chad is looking at these people realizing these are the people that will decide whether he lives or dies ultimately since we have a death penalty on the table and uh he, he you know again i don't know what was going on through his mind but he was certainly looking at all of them I did feel like he moved a little bit more today. I mean, that's not saying a lot, but it all could also also be the angle. I'm looking directly at him. He's looking directly at me so I can see every head turn, every eye side eyeing. Um, but he did, he's just against, it's very, I'm going to call it reverently and I'll tell you why, but reverently with his hands clasped, like I can't clasp my hands or else I'll drop my phone so I can't show you. But 
his hands clasped together. Um, and uh, I, I ask, I say reverently because, uh, you know, he is uh, LDS and I asked Aunt Vicky about it. I said, you know, has he always sort of been like this? And she, she said, yeah, she said, yes. And that, you know, they were taught as kids to be reverent in church, to be, to be quiet, to be well behaved. And that it reminds her sort of, of, you know, how he acts in church, just uh, reverent. So that is the adjective she used. Um, but, um, so uh, people are asking about the prospective juror who didn't understand conspiracy get selected. I don't believe he did. And there was one, oh my goodness, uh, P-I-L-L-E, Pilly, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it means so much um, as I'm away reporting. Um, thank you everyone for your support. And so there was one juror in the YouTube chat, in the, in the live YouTube chat. We never had a live stream, but we were certainly conversing over there. She said they really didn't want a particular juror and honestly I wasn't I am not the best reporter and they're keeping track of every single juror number that's not my specialty but uh, I did note that and and they they were removed so that juror and and I think that people were concerned that uh, this juror believed in conspiracy theories and so that juror was donezo so um, I'll go back and check that out in the uh, chat I see Aunt Vicky walking over here. I don't know whether or not she wants to be on camera, so I might end this live if she's just ready to hang out with me. Um, so, so just a second here. I'm on a live. Do you want to come over or stay there? She'll come over. Hello. Hi. We have a jury. Opening statements Wednesday. How are you feeling? I'm super pumped. You super pumped? It was and, a and of, shaky and scared. And shaky and scared. <laughs> It was hey it was a wild moment in there. I've never seen yeah. that before. What, like, yeah. can I ask you? Like, what? I was looking at Chad, thinking he's looking at these people like they're gonna have his life or death in his yeah. hands. But what were you thinking? As you looked at Chad, like so we were far away from each other, by yeah. the way. Like, yeah. You were on the other side next to the woodcock. Right. So what were you yeah. feeling or thinking? So I was just more focused on the jurors because I remembered pretty much each one of them from the void void deer. deer. Yeah. So um, it just as they were. Um, at the end, when they were excusing him, I was like, oh, 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 I like that. I really like that one. But I think we have a good jury. I'm, I'm pleased. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get it rolling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pleased too. And, and by the way, when, when Judge Boyce asked, like, prosecution, are you okay with this? Yeah. Yes, we are. The, the, yeah. like, and then defense, are you good with this jur jury? Yeah. Yes, everyone was just I like, I think yes. everybody was, yeah. I think, I think it's a good balance. Uh -huh. And um, there wasn't anybody, I was like, oh no, no, no. Was I'm, it, I'm was, so, it stopped. was there anyone you were glad to see go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there were two people, I was like, see you later. But yeah, bye Felicia. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, it was it was good. Oh, look at look who's coming. Oh, it's him. It's him. Let's uh, someone else is coming. And you were sitting right next to Kay. And how is she doing? Yeah. How are she, you both we doing? were both. We were, yeah, we were we were hanging on to each other a little bit. Um, I think it, it you know you get emotional and it comes like in these weird waves, and you kind of feel like this shakiness inside. I don't know. You get it too a little bit. I do. This. I do. And you kind of almost feel like your insides are vibrating, and then you kind of settle down, and then so it's a, it's an up and down uh, feeling. But uh, at the end, when he said, "Okay, we have a we have our jury," I just was like relieved, and then I got a little teary eyed, a little choked up. Um, because now we can, you know, this is one step closer to um, just getting answers and wrapping it up, hopefully. Justice for, yeah. for Tammy. Justice yeah. for Tammy. We're on our way. Absolutely. We're yeah. on our way. Yeah. Well, the man of the hour was Larry Woodcock, but it looks like he's being stolen by, well, by Matt Johnson's Core well, and, 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 uh, uh, TV. He's, he's yeah. Got, uh, yeah, he definitely has some... Uh, followers here yes yes right and he is he the is talking to hour. man of the <laughs> hour yes so we'll let him go but it, it's so good that the woodcocks are in town they're here to see this through uh, vicky's here to see this through justice for jj tiley and tammy and wednesday morning opening statements uh, but oh you know what i bailed early let me ask you i i told everyone i bailed early i don't are yeah. they going to do any motions or anything else i mean they i did. did they did the dissemination oh, they, they did the dissemination motion which was 
the gag order. Okay. Um, and they heard from both sides. Both sides wanted it to continue through the duration of the trial. Um, and the judge said, right now it stands uh, to uh, after the opening statements. He was going to leave it there for now and uh, do some consideration, apparently. Okay. But um, yeah, he wasn't. He didn't make a judgment. He said, right now, that's what it's scheduled for. We're oh. leaving it there for now. Okay. Both parties asked for it to go through the whole trial, which wow. actually surprised me a little bit. So I don't know what the motives were or what that does. Yeah, but it ended up being a really good um, little meeting of the minds there. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It. Thank you for being a better reporter than me today. Yeah. And there you I go. I'm now a pod person. <laughs> yeah, you're now a podcast person. <laughs> a podcast people. Pod podcast people. Yes. Here. Yes. Um, well, thank you. And so uh, I'm going to call it a day for me. I mean, I might go live tonight, um, but I think, um, or, or do you want to do lunch somewhere or yeah. whatever? Uh, well, let's eat something. We never eat. We never eat. So. I got a lunch date. I got a lunch date. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. Thank you for your support. Wednesday morning opening statements. May justice be served. Yes.